Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, we have some epic molds laid out here. We're going to make some really cool swim baits. I'm going to put some shad dots on these things. Uh, it's something I've wanted to play with. I've done shad dots here on the channel before, uh, but I've never done them in the darter and I've never done them uh, in a more translucent color like we're going to do today. So we're going to put shad dots on these. I have the shatter bait, the sleigh bait, uh, and the epic darter here. We have some powder from Grandpa's Grubs. He sent this over for us to play with. This is a color shift powder that we're going to use uh, in our plastic. Going to do a couple drops of black and put some of this in there to get our body effect. We're going to put some silver flake in it just to give it that little bit of flash. Uh, and then I've got some eyes here to put on these. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I do my shad dots in case you missed the first video. We're going to get some plastic hot, shoot the bodies over the top of the shad dots and kind of check them out. See what they look like. See if we like that shad dot on a translucent body. Uh, and just kind of see if it's something that we want to do more of here on the channel. And hopefully you guys will like it, maybe learn something here. Uh, so yeah, let's get some plastic hot. I'm going to do the black first for the shad dots. Uh, and then I'll show you mixing up this color as well. So let's get into it. So I've got some black mixed up here. This is just standard black. Any black will do. Or if you don't want to use black, I guess you don't necessarily have to. But shad dots are usually black. So we're going to take this Q-tip and just dip it into the plastic. Uh, and then we're just going to make a little dot right on the side of that mold. We can re-dip if we need to. Do the same thing again. And just make a nice little dot. If you don't like it and you're not happy with how your dot looks, just give it a second and then you can just peel it off the mold with your fingers. And it's not a big deal. Just let it cool off. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It does take a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. This is, uh, if you don't like spending a decent bit of time, this probably uh, is not going to be the technique for you. There's probably other ways to do this too that I'm not aware of. This is just how I figured out how to do it when somebody had told me when I'd asked. I'm not going to take credit for this because uh, I didn't come up with it. But it does work extremely well. It doesn't run all over the place, which is nice. And you can just dot these. And it's not a big deal. You kind of want to do a black that's not super transparent, though, because if you go too transparent, you really won't be able to see it, depending on your background color. But you can tell it's not super slow. It goes at a decent pace. Uh, it can be a little hard to get the dots to be the exact size you want. That's just something you're going to have to work on uh, as you get to doing it more. That one wasn't perfect. I'll probably end up peeling that one back up. Uh, but the good part is you can kind of just roll on to the next one uh, and then just come back and do that one that you don't like. And sometimes you can just dab it a little bit, especially if you want more of an irregular shape. Because uh, they're not always perfect circles, especially uh, in nature. So that is something to keep in mind as well. Okay, let's do this darter. I haven't done this mold before. This is going to be uh, my first time with it. I did a couple just to practice. But it's pretty simple. If it does want to drip a little bit, which you might notice as you coat the Q-tip in plastic, uh, just spin it until you can get it over the mold, uh, and that'll try to keep it from dripping. And that works pretty good most of the time. Every once in a while, you'll get one that doesn't want to work out. Just peel it off. It ain't a big deal. Just make it nice and quick. Especially if you're doing very many of these, you don't want to spend a ton of time on them. So here's a little look at what the shad dots look like in the mold. You can nitpick the placement of the dots all you want. Uh, I'm just getting them close for this video. But yeah, that is what they should look like once you get the dots done. Don't forget to put them hook plates back in if you do want to do hook slots. But we'll move on, get the other color mixed up, and see about shooting some bodies in these. As far as mixing this color goes, it's about as easy as it gets. We're going to do approximately three drops of this bait plastics black. Give that a little bit of a mix. And it looks pretty dark, but don't worry. When you get it out of this cup, it ain't going to be near as dark. It's just because there's so much in this two-cup amount. Uh, yeah, I should mention that, too. This is a two-cup amount, not a one-cup. So if you're doing this in a one-cup amount, you might want to cut this down a little bit. Uh, as far as powders go, this is a powder from Grandpa's Grubs. Uh, it's Hollow 2 is the part number on this. Uh, I don't know if he's actually going to have a name for this or how this is going to work. Uh, when he does sell this so definitely just check him out over on Instagram uh, if you're interested in picking some of this up so I'm gonna just take this, this is just a paint can opener uh, and I'm just going to drag some of this over into there a little bit goes a pretty long way 
So there's that. Now we're going to put some bait plastics. This is just silver, small silver, 0 0.015 silver. I'm going to sprinkle some of this in here just a little bit. We don't want a ton. Don't want it to be a disco party, as I like to say. Give this a little bit of a mix. And watch this come to life here. Okay. That copper is starting to come out of there. And it looks really black, but don't be discouraged. It is going to look awesome. I'll give you a top-down look at this real quick. Here is a little top-down look at this. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's going to have all kinds of effects once we get it into that mold. So let's not waste any time. As for temperature, you're going to want this stuff to be pretty hot. Think about trying to bond two kinds of plastic together since those are already in there. You're going to want this plastic to be pretty hot. I like it about that 370, 380 mark somewhere in there. Seems to work out just fine, but definitely get this plastic warm just so you have a good bond and that shad dot just doesn't peel off. I'm going to pull some of this up in our injector here. And you'll notice on the end of my injector, it is not very dark. So when you think about it being dark in that cup, that's just something you have to keep in mind, that it's really not as dark as you think it is. Uh, and if you want to test some colors, Epic Bait Molds does make a test mold for testing colors. You just have to search it in their store. Uh, I think it's called Color Test Mold, actually. So you can get one of those. They're cheap. They're not very much. Uh, and you can test stuff before you shoot it. So this was kind of an interesting test. If I could go back, I probably would not make this color quite as dark. Uh, three drops and two cups, probably a little bit too much. Maybe off that a little bit to maybe two drops per two cups, or one drop per one cup, obviously. But these still look really good. The dot is just a little more subtle because it is darker. Uh, if you pick one of these up, it will definitely uh, show up more with light shining through it, but just here on the tray, uh, you can definitely see it, but it is a little more subtle. Uh, so as far as the darters go, I think because that mold is so small, if you're going to do the shad dots in the darter, try to make them as thin as possible, because if you don't, it seems to be uh, that you kind of want to get a little bit of a bubble behind that shad dot where it struggles to fill in. So if you are going to do it on the darter, just try to make sure it is a little bit thinner uh, and I think you'll be okay. But the other two molds work flawlessly with the shad dots. Not a problem at all. But yeah, that is kind of what they look like. Here's what that dot looks like under some light with some light shining through it. Uh, you can see it blends pretty good. You can see the scale pattern continues across that dot. So nothing unusual there. Uh, and it looks really good. I would just make the plastic background just a little bit lighter so you have a little bit more contrast. Unless you're looking for something subtle. Uh, if you want something subtle, this is a very good route to go. These are absolute beauties. If you're looking for something nice and subtle, that is a very good blend. Uh, and if you want it to pop more, just add more. I didn't add very much because I was going for something subtle. Uh, and that's exactly what we got. And they look absolutely amazing. Uh, I love the shatter bait, especially for the size. And it looks and sh is shaped a lot like a shad, which is super cool. Uh, and it just makes for some awesome baits. So there you have it. That's a little bit of testing on what that would look like on a subtle translucent color. Uh, and it looks really good. It's, uh, it's nice. It's subtle. It's something I think that would work really well uh, in clear water or where the bite is just a little bit tougher. Uh, and it worked out great. And if you're going to use the darter, like I said, try to keep that dot thin. Or if you're using a mold that's similar with a very thin profile, try to keep that dot as thin as you can to make sure that plastic can get in there uh, behind it and fill that in. I'm going to have a couple of these on the store. I don't know if I'm going to have uh, a ton of them, so they may or may not be there when you get there. It just depends how quick they sell. One person may buy all of them. I, I don't really know. I'm also going to have some that have the shad dot and some that don't. They're going to look identical except for the shad dot. So make sure when you're buying, if you do decide to buy, that you don't get mixed up. I'll make sure that if they have the shad dot that you can see it in the picture. Uh, that way you don't get misled. 
Uh, if you want to get any of the molds we use today, I'll leave a link in the description to Epic Bait Molds. Uh, you can get some awesome molds there. I'll leave a link to Grandpa's Grubs uh, Instagram. That way you can head on over there if you want to check out any of his powders. He does some glitters and things of that nature. Uh, so definitely check that out if you want. Like and subscribe to stay up to date. We're about to do a video on the Lure Works Chameleon, which is an awesome color shift. So stick around for that if that's something that interests you. Uh, and I'll leave a link to the store uh, down below if you want to pick up any baits. Uh, like and subscribe. It does help the channel out. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.